Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's video, let's take an up close and personal in-depth look at the third generation Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG. While this particular example we have in today's video is a 2014 model, I'm going to be covering the 2015 model as the car essentially carried over unchanged. The biggest difference being the once optional lighting package that included the LED accented by Xenon headlamps as standard equipment for 2015. So this is going to be a detailed, in-depth review of the SLK 55. We'll start it up, show the engine, demo the dual-mode AMG Sport exhaust, and show you a bunch of the unique aspects of both the interior as well as exterior including magic sky control, performance, fuel economy, accommodation, and much more. As a courtesy before I begin, I'd like to extend a special thanks and shout out to Auto Nation and Mercedes-Benz of Pompano in Pompano Beach, Florida for providing us with an exclusive chance to take an in-depth look at this SLK 55 AMG. For more information on their dealership, including contact info and current inventory, you can check out their website provided in the description box below. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up. Let her run. Like many other vehicles in the Mercedes fleet, the SLK 55 also features a remote smart key access system so you can wirelessly lock and unlock the vehicle by just keeping the key fob in your pocket and utilizing the touch sensors on both the driver and passenger side door handle. To lock, just tap the little depressed portion, then after waiting a second, grab behind the handle, and it automatically unlocks the vehicle. This exterior color is known as diamond white metallic and is paired with an AMG exclusive hand wrapped black Napa leather interior with AMG sport bucket seats and plenty of white color accent stitching. The AMG comes standard with a dual mode sport exhaust system featuring an integrated bypass valve within each muffler that progressively opens once you climb past 2000 RPM. That and activating sport mode allows the SLK's hand built V8 to truly sing. We'll take a quick sound comparison before checking that out more in depth later in the video. First in standard mode. And now for sport mode. Compared to other AMG models that have incorporated some form of electric power steering, the SLK 55 soldiers on with the traditional hydraulic rack and pinion setup known as direct steer, featuring speed proportional variable power assist and a steering angle dependent variable ratio, designed for easy low speed maneuvering and a heightened level of stability and precision at speed. This SLK features the optional AMG handling package. In addition to an increased top speed, AMG limited slip differential, unique wheels, and the beefier performance suspension, you also get this unique AMG three-spoke leather and Alcantara steering wheel, pleasing to look at and offering plenty of grip and comfort. The performance steering wheel benefits from pronounced bolsters up top and down below with a flat bottom race-inspired design. Satin aluminum highlights the spokes including the lower twin spoke, multifunction controls, and airbag cover. The SLK delivers power to the rear wheels via AMG's Speed Shift Plus 7-speed automatic transmission. 
While similar to the Torque Converter 7-speed auto in the standard SLK, the AMG Multi-Clutch Gearbox uses a wet clutch pack to couple the engine and transmission. This allows the car to deliver low-speed smoothness of a typical automatic with the benefit of near dual-clutch quick gear changes. There are three selectable driving modes. Controlled efficiency, like other AMG cars, is designed for comfort and economy, automatically engaging the standard auto start-stop feature which can be turned off at a push of a button. Sport mode raises the shift points in automatic mode and reduces shifting times by 30%. Putting the car into manual mode allows full manual control of the gear changes with super quick 100 millisecond shifts. Via the steering wheel mounted aluminum paddle shifters all the way to the 7200 RPM redline, accompanied by rev matching downshifts in both sport and manual mode. And so we're going to flip on the automatic projector headlamps, rear fog lamps, and the hazards. Both windows are fully automatic, and we're going to check out the exterior. In 2012, Mercedes launched the all-new third-generation SLK. With that came the SLK 55 AMG, the most powerful and arguably the sportiest SLK ever built. Powered by an all-new V8 engine and upgraded AMG transmission, packed within a classic Roadster layout. It's also one of the only modern AMG cars that actually wears a badge that assimilates with the engine displacement. While it's never been known as a pure corner-carving driver's car compared to others in the class, since the late 90s the SLK has offered buyers a unique grand touring alternative to the segment of premium two-seat sports cars. Like its predecessor, the latest SLK features a retractable hardtop for all-weather enjoyment and plenty of unique features that stand out from the rest. Essentially unchanged for 2015, the SLK still wears a relatively fresh look originally inspired by the SLS AMG. It's bolder and more dynamic than the second generation, especially with the AMG variant, which is notably more aggressive than the standard SLK 250 and 350. Unique bits include dark tinted headlamps and a deeper front fascia with bold air intakes in the lower clip and just ahead of the front wheels, highlighted by LED daytime running lamps and a blacked out lower midsection. The standard hood already fits the AMG bill with dynamic lines that blend with the fascia and the hood vents back towards the cowl. There's even a pair of lines that extend from the fender vents across the doors, adding a bit of definition. The side sills are sculpted to mirror the lines of the lower front clip. As you continue towards the rear, the sill sweeps up into the body while the lower sill projects out once more just ahead of the rear wheels. The projection and resultant styling line is mirrored in the AMG rear fascia, which wraps around and meets with an aggressive black lower diffuser and AMG quad polished exhaust tips. Finishing off things up top is a molded deck lid spoiler and unique badging. All in all, the SLK 55 is a proper looker, reminiscent of a mini SL63 AMG with some SLS inspiration. The wraparound LED tail lamps are actually set within the fenders, with a styling line that comes across the edge and wraps around the middle portion of the fascia. Within the center console, you have the controls for the power retractable hardtop, pushing down to close the roof or pulling it up to retract it and put it into the trunk. There's also a switch that will automatically pull up all four windows at once, so making it a little bit easier to go ahead and close everything up when the hardtop is done moving. It does impede cargo space a little bit when the hardtop is folded back, but there's still some usable space which I'll show a little later in the video. Like the larger SL, if you still want a little bit of open air experience without going through the entire motion, you can leave the hardtop into place, opt for the panoramic glass roof, and just put down all four of the windows to allow a nice amount of air to pass through. Like any modern convertible, a set of roll bars are found behind each headrest in addition to some extra wind buffeters. There's little LED indicators up front and back for the front and rear parking sensors, standard rain sensing windshield wipers and turn signal mirrors. One of the biggest innovations of the third generation SLK was the introduction of a revolutionary technology called Magic Sky Control. Standard SLK 55s can be had with either a painted roof or the panoramic roof with tinted glass. With Magic Sky Control, you can have a glass roof, but you're able to switch it from light to dark at the press of a button, either allowing plenty of sunshine in or damping out the harsh rays and preventing the interior from heating up on a hot day. The first time I've ever seen this type of electroluminescent glass was actually in a Maybach, but you can also get this new technology in the latest generation SL. As briefly mentioned earlier, this SLK 55 AMG features the optional handling package. With this, you have your choice of these 10 spoke alloys, either finished in matte black with polished outer edge or silver. 
Like the standard 5-spoke alloys, the 10-spoke design remains the same asymmetric layout measuring 18 by 8 inches in front and 18 by 9 inches in the rear, wrapped in 235-40 and 255-35 high-performance tires respectively, able to achieve around 0.93 g of lateral acceleration. As far as the brakes, the AMG gets the largest set in the SLK lineup, consisting of 14.4 by 1.4 inch cross-drilled two-piece ventilated discs up front with cross-drilled and ventilated single-piece 13 by 0.9 inch discs in the rear, claimed by four piston calipers in front and single piston calipers in the rear that are able to bring the car to a stop from 60 miles an hour in a scant 107 feet. The SLK55 also carries AMG's sport suspension, a four-wheel independent multi-link setup with stiffer springs, shocks, bearings, and stabilizer bars. There's even more negative wheel camber in the rear for more road contact in the corners for flatter overall cornering. A new feature for 2015 is torque vectoring which applies the brakes to the inside rear wheel and hard cornering to help improve turn-in and agility. The SLK55 is powered by a naturally aspirated variant of the bi-turbo M157 V8 found in other AMG products such as the CLS63 and S63. AMG did more though than just leave out the turbos. The M152 all-aluminum direct-injected double overhead cam 32-valve 5.5 liter V8 features new intake air ducting and cylinder heads, not to mention a modified final drive, oil supply system, crankcase, and a higher 12.6 to 1 compression ratio. It produces 415 horsepower at 6,800 rpm and 398 pound-feet of torque at 4,500 rpm. That's 62 horsepower and 22 pound-feet of torque more than the outgoing V8 and its predecessor. This translates to 0 to 60 times just over 4 seconds with quarter mile times around 12 and a half seconds at 116 miles an hour. Top speed is limited to 155 miles an hour in the standard car, but with this handling package, the limiter is raised to 174 miles an hour. As far as fuel economy, with an 18.5 gallon tank and required premium gas, the SLK55 is rated by the EPA to achieve between 19 miles to a gallon in the city and 28 on the highway, pretty impressive considering the performance specs. When it debuted in 2012, the M152 benefited from a number of enhancements to not only make it 30% more fuel efficient than its predecessor, but to also have an edge over the bi-turbo counterpart in a way. Specific to the SLK55 and the first for any AMG is a cylinder deactivation feature that shuts down cylinders 2, 3, 5, and 8 while cruising under light loads between 800 and 3600 RPM while the hardtop is in place. This essentially turns the 5.5 liter V8 into a 2 and 3 quarter liter 4 cylinder for fuel saving when full power isn't needed. The change is almost imperceivable, occurring in as little as 30 milliseconds. You'll likely notice a slight change in exhaust note, but not much else aside from the Eco 4 display on the instrument cluster. With 170 pound feet of torque still on tap, there's still enough reserve for light acceleration, especially keeping up down the highway. Of course, like the Eco Start Stop feature, everything can be totally disabled by just the press of a button. Overall length is 163.2 inches with a width of 79 inches including the mirrors and a height of 51.2 inches with the top up. Wheelbase is 95.7 inches with a total curb weight around 3,583 pounds. The third generation SLK was one of the first Mercedes vehicles to adopt the latest design language following the SLS. This is especially true with the interior thanks to improved ergonomics, advanced technology and superior build quality. Throughout, you'll see the vast majority of touch points and panels are wrapped in soft material or supple nebel leather trimmed in color accent stitching. Satin aluminum dresses up the components including the SLS inspired air vents providing a very modern touch. You do have a bit of storage down below and all of your power windows, locks and folding mirrors are located on the door in addition to all of your seat functions and three person memory for both sides. Even though the SLK is a smaller car, my 5 foot 10 frame fits just fine. As far as the seats, you have 8-way power adjustable sport leather bucket seats that are specific to the AMG model, featuring plenty of extra lateral support across the top and the bottom and even the upper backrest. It's wrapped in hand-fitted Napa leather with color accent stitching, a ribbed pattern coming across the middle and AMG tags towards the top. Built into each headrest is the Mercedes air scarf system that'll blow warm air on the back of your neck so even in colder weather you could still enjoy top-down driving. 
You do have four-way power lumbar adjustment and that's located towards the bottom of the seat. As you would expect from a Mercedes AMG product, the build quality is absolutely fantastic and definitely tuned for more of a sporty feel. AMG illuminated aluminum door sill plaques are optional. You have logoed floor mats, aluminum sport pedals, and a driver's side knee airbag. The steering wheel is power tilt telescoping. Your handbrake releases to the left as well as your lighting controls. The entire dash is fitted with soft touch material. So let's go ahead and see if she sounds. We'll go ahead and shut her up. Good solid sounding doors. Flip open the little middle portion here and pull up on this little lever to pull up all four windows. Bestowed upon the SLK is a bespoke Harman Kardon Logic 7 digital audio system pumping out 500 watts of sound through 11 speakers. A crisp, clean stereo designed for open top motoring. It's all routed through the Mercedes Command infotainment system with rotary controller in the center console and either a standard 5.8 inch LCD screen or the upgraded 7 inch display within the dash. The hard drive based system also has the ability to store up to 10 gigabytes of music with the multimedia package shown here. Padded A pillars and windshield surround, not to mention roof line. Slender visors with perforations across either side and illuminated vanity mirrors. There's also little lights built into the A-pillars right here that automatically illuminate when you open the door. All LED. Auto dimming view view mirror with three position garage home link located down below and your SOS emergency roadside assistance up top. In the upper stack you have the microphone for your hands-free Bluetooth telephone, LED interior illumination as well as reading lamps, padded sunglass container, and the control for the dimming roof. While I have covered the command system in some previous in-depth reviews of some of the latest Mercedes products, it's a pretty simple system to use overall. It's a three-tier format, so you have a top menu, middle menu, and bottom menu. From navigation to multimedia, Bluetooth telephone, internet capabilities, real-time weather updates, and more. For a more detailed look at how the command system works, please see one of the links in the description box provided below. Continuing down the center console, it's all accented in beautiful dark high-gloss wood veneer. 
In this stack right here, you have the shortcut keys to the command system like I talked about earlier, your off and on hook button for your telephone, three-stage heated seats, your air scarf control, traction control, parking sensors, and active eco mode. The dialing pad off to the right corresponds to your telephone and radio presets, six disc and dash CD changer, radio volume, power, seek tune, fast forward, and more. Down to the bottom is a simple to use single zone climate control with your temperature off to the left, max AC, front and rear defrost, different zones, and your fan speed with recycling off to the right. Small lighter, ashtray, and or 12 volt power outlet. And in the very back, two slender cup holders. The leather wrap center console here is a pretty good amount of space. The top locks in place, has a little bit of illumination in the bottom, as well as your iPod media connectivity and an extra power outlet. Elegant analog clock located front and center in the dash. I just love all of the satin aluminum detailing in the newest Mercedes products. Definitely has a little bit of a classic touch with a little bit of a modern throw to it. I mean, even the air vents have a nice, cool, metallic touch to them. Very easy to use and open and close by just twisting it. As far as the steering wheel, on the right-hand side you have your radio controls, hands-free telephone, and voice commands. Help. For which audio CD functions do you want help? Change CD. Select track. Search for music. All audio CD functions or voice controllable devices. Cancel. Cancel. The right hand side corresponds to your driver information system that shows up in the little TFT display in the middle of the instrument cluster. Using the left and right arrows go between your main menus such as trip computer, up and down go between the different submenus such as fuel range, digital speed readout, go over navigation, audio, telephone, different driver assistance features, service reminders, personalizable options, and an AMG screen with some status gauges, a lap timer for track days, as well as the different driving modes which gear you in another digital speed readout. Your wipers are located on the top stalk to the left, cruise control is in the bottom stalk. Alrighty. I'm going to shut her down. And we're going to check out the rest of the vehicle. Like you saw earlier, the SLK is a hardtop convertible, so when you're putting the top down, everything tucks away neatly within the trunk area, but that also means diminished cargo space in this configuration to just 6.4 cubic feet in total with a smaller opening, but put the top back up and you have around 10.1 cubic feet when you move this little cargo partition out of the way, which is totally respectable and a lot more usable. Underneath the trunk floor, you also have all of your jacking equipment. The passenger seat features the same power adjustments like you find in the driver's seat, including the four-way power lumbar and three-person memory. Down beneath, you also have a padded glove box with locking, with a modest amount of space and illumination, not to mention a soft felt liner. Even though this generation SLK is a few years old now, it still offers a unique and modern alternative in the high performance premium segment. 
With aggressive looks, upscale interior, and an addicting exhaust note, it makes for quite an interesting and definitely fun package. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take care everybody.